y'all welcome back to my channel today i am filming a vlog do i have any sort of plan for this vlog absolutely not so i figured i'd just pick up the camera today bring y'all along with me this could be a couple days long i really don't know at this point but it is 11 12 a.m i have just been doing some stuff around the house today taking care of chickens doing some work, doing some cleaning, but now I have some errands to run. I'm gonna bring y'all along with me and take y'all on whatever adventure we get into. say I am utterly shocked at my ability to hurt myself in stupid situations. Throwing a bag of chicken feed in the trunk of the car, I somehow managed to rip my nail off and split my thumb open. And by like split it open, I split it open. Marshalls to see if they sold duvet covers. I guess they don't, which is surprising to me, but I did get some goodies, so I'll have to do a little haul when I get back home. I am getting some gas in the car right now. I need to run to Kohl's and do an Amazon return, pick up a grocery order, and then I have a Zoom call in an hour and a half. Getting a lot done just pulled up to Kohl's. I have some Amazon returns from some things that I bought and I really just don't need. So I'm going to return them and get my money back. Just pulled up at the curbside pickup. I am here literally four to five days a week. It is just the easiest thing to order it online and then you show up and they load it in your car and then you go home. Since I'm running so low on time, I figured I'd just grab lunch while I was out so I don't have to panic about time. I got the blackened chicken tenders from Popeyes, and y'all, these are only a couple of carbs for all of the tenders. I have eaten them for years. They are so good. You do normally have to wait five minutes for them to fry them up, but you know they're fresh, they're tasty, delicious, and fun fact, did you know that Popeyes took green beans off their menu? So I got a little side of mashed potatoes with Cajun gravy, some blackened ranch, I have a Diet Coke, and I'm gonna scarf this down and then I'm gonna check back in with y'all. Taking a quick second to come out here and check on all of the birds. I grabbed them a bigger water because I need this little waterer for my sick chicken. I unfortunately have a little bit of a sad situation going on in here. So this little bird has had seizures since a week old and moving him outside this week, his seizures have continued to get worse and worse to the point where I'm honestly surprised he's still alive after some of the ones he had yesterday. But today as a little bit of a last stitch effort, we decided to give him some children's Benadryl and it has surprisingly helped him at least be able to function and eat like he's doing right now. He was not able to do that yesterday. Now, to be completely honest, he does not have a bright prognosis ahead of him, but if I can keep him comfortable and he's still eating and drinking, we're just gonna, you know, nurse him out and see what happens. And then I have my little baby bumper in here in his own pen because he is also a little bit special needs. He had seizures, but Thankfully, since he's been out here, I have not seen him have one, which is really great that he's adjusting well. But he is getting picked on by all the other birds. He's a cute little dude and he loves me. Hey, Bumper. He's got the little crooked beak on this side, so he always has a dumb look on his face. But I'm surprised at how well he's doing, but I hate that I'm having to keep him isolated over here because everyone is trying to beat him up. 
but he can still see the birds and be near them. But I have him under here where he can't get rained on. Hey, Bobos. Are you blowing in the wind, Bobo? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I ate my Popeye's chicken tenders and they were so good. Some of the best, juiciest Popeye's black and tenders I've ever had. Try them out if you ever get a chance. They are really so good and such a great lower carb fast food option. Then I went and checked on my special birds like you just saw, but I have 10 minutes now until the Zoom call, so that is plenty of time to do a quick Marshalls haul. Even though they didn't have duvet covers, I walked out with a couple of items, so let me show you what I got. So first things first, and obviously my most exciting purchase, did you know that flare leggings are coming back in style? I can't believe it. I still have my favorite pair of flare leggings from like freshman year of college. But look, they got the little flare. These are by the brand 90 Degree by Reflex, which is like my favorite brand of leggings. But I saw these and I just had to buy them. I then also got another pair of leggings, just a black pair of leggings that have a cell phone pocket because that is like vital. I have my cell phone in my legging pocket right now. And then, I don't know why I bought this, but I have been really wanting to do a puzzle. And I saw this Santa's Big Night puzzle. It was like $12.99. And I just thought that would be fun for me to work on, to like not look at my phone for a little while and just focus on a puzzle. Cause sometimes I just need a break from a screen. Isn't that fun? I bought a candle. I haven't been able to burn candles in months because I have had chickens in my house but chickens will be leaving soon. And I found this candle. It is called Sippin' Cider by Sensational Candles, I guess. But it is a wood wick and it smells really good. I love the crackle of a wood wick. So when I saw it and smelt it, I had to bring it home. And the last thing I bought was this little Christmas vase. I thought it would look cute over here on my coffee bar. Let's, let's see what it looks like real quick before I have to get on this call. I think I'm gonna put this thing just right here in the middle of the coffee bar. Let's see, does that look okay? I know nothing about decorating or style, but that just gives a little Christmas flair. And also, have I ever showed y'all this painting that we have? It was hanging up in a different part of the house, but we just moved it. But it is Cody and me fishing on our boat. My mom had this commissioned for us last year fishing here in Baytown, and I just absolutely love the photo. But we hung it up above my coffee bar here in the kitchen, and I just think it ties this whole room together. I should have hung it there in the first place. Now I have four minutes until I need to jump on a Zoom call, so I need to go run and pee, and then I gotta take him to the vet to get his eye checked. All right, I will see y'all here in just a little while after this is all over. I forgot to add, while I was at Marshall's, I ran into Keto with Sammy. She is another YouTube content creator. And so that was so cool. That is actually the second time I've run into her and both times have been at Marshall's. So you see where our priorities lie. But that was super fun. Here's a little picture that I just stole from her Facebook. Also, if you're wondering, yes, me and the 13 chickens in my office will be doing the Zoom call together. All right, let's log in. Okay, so like halfway through that Zoom call, I realized how tired I was. So I grabbed one of these Witch's Brew Alani New Energy Drinks, adding it to my little can koozie. And I'm heading out the door to bring Bo to the vet. Let's all cross our fingers and say good thoughts that his eye is showing improvement. <sighs> So, unfortunately, that vet visit did not go like I hoped it would. So, almost three weeks ago, Bo ran into some wire on the chicken coop, we believe, and ulcerated his eye. And we've been treating it. This was my third follow-up vet appointment, and it's still not getting better. Future cat jumping in real quick because I failed to mention in that last clip what was going on with Bo. Since his eye was not getting better, I elected to do a procedure the following morning on him. They're basically making a grid on his eye and trying to promote healing because the outer layer of his eye is trying to heal, but it's struggling to heal together. 
So they're taking a needle and making some sort of grid on his eye and hopefully it's going to make it better. So that's what I elected to do. Hey y'all, good morning. It is now the next day. After that vet appointment, I was a little bit stressed and so I opted not to film the rest of the day. Well, it is now 7.30. My dad just called and said, hey, my procedure is moved up to first. Can you get over here right now? <laughs> so I like threw all the chickens outside, threw on my clothes, and now I am running to go pick up my dad, drop him off at the hospital, run back to my house, pick up Bo, take him to the vet, get home, meet the contractor at my house to finish on the chicken coop, take Michael into Houston. It's gonna be a great day. And then clean the entire house some more because we have guests coming over. Just a fun day, super fun day. Only a little stress. <sighs> oh, okay, let's get to it. Everything else in my life right now is crazy, but this morning, my little coffee bar is bringing me just so much joy. I love the painting above it. I love the little Christmas decor I put out, and I just made some sugar cookie coffee. So, brewed it into my hyper chiller, so I'm about to whip up a cup of iced coffee before I have to go over to my parents in about 20 minutes and wake up my brother and get him ready for therapy. Ignore my lack of makeup this morning because it's just been a crazy morning and that has been the last thing on my mind. So I just made myself a cup of iced coffee. I got my dad to the hospital. I'm getting text message updates. He is, oh look, the patient is in the procedure room. As I say that, I get the text that he's having the procedure done right now. I think my uncle is gonna pick up my dad because I've gotta go over to my parents' house and get my brother ready to go to Houston to meet his therapist for his occupational therapy. So, it's just a crazy, crazy time. I got Bo dropped off at the vet. Poor guy was so upset. He hates the vet so much. And that was the fourth or fifth time I've had to bring him in in a couple weeks and it just broke my heart. They're doing the eye procedure on him this morning. He's going to be there most of the day. We will pick him up later this afternoon. On a completely unrelated but a more exciting note this morning, on a completely unrelated note, look what I got confirmation of that was ready this morning. I got me a shed and it's ready. I'm just waiting for the delivery driver to let me know what day he can come and deliver it. But this is an 8x16 shed. So I have a lot of grills. I make grilling and barbecue content almost every day. And through that, I have been gifted some grills because I create content and work with brands. And I have too many grills, which I use them all. They all have their purposes, so I'm not giving them away. But we don't have a garage here. We only have a carport. And I got a boat worth a lot of money. That needs to be under the carport, but I can't put it under there <laughs> because of the grills. So I bought a shed and that's going to sit out there where I can roll my grills out of the element. I can keep them there and I can get my boat under the carport and I can protect that asset too. I am trying to do everything to make my life better and buying a shed to store everything and then I'll have my boat okay. Major major help for me. I'm just kind of all over the place in this video, so bear with me. Um, I'm about to drink coffee. I haven't had coffee in like three days, so this is gonna be delightful. Heading out this morning to go make sure my brother is awake. Still waiting to hear if my dad is out of his procedure, but I did just get a text from the vet that Bo is waking up from surgery and is doing great. So that's really good to know. And he's just gonna be there hanging out for the rest of the day and I will pick him up this afternoon. I got Michael and we're heading to meet his therapist. You wanna say hi? Say hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Say hi. Good job. All right, got Michael, let's go. Hey, bad bunnies. How do y'all feel about kale? How do you feel about it? I'll take it as you will eat kale. Yum. At least June likes it. Hey, 
Hey y'all, welcome to day three of this vlog. First off, I wanted to give you an update on Mr. Bo. I picked Bo up from the vet yesterday afternoon and he was so happy to come home. The vet is feeling pretty confident that this procedure might help his eye actually be able to heal. We'll go back in a week for yet another checkup and hope all is well. In the last video, I showed you that my house was a complete and utter disaster. But I did want to show y'all that we did indeed pull it all together and get it ready. And it looks nice. I'll show you. We got the living area nice and cleaned up. And you can see little Cooper Pooper over here napping on the ottoman. There was someone sleeping on the couch this morning, so don't pay attention to that. I have some baby cheeps in here still. These are my youngest batch of baby cheeps. So they're too young to go outside. Got the dining room, I guess you could call it, cleaned up. This is gonna be our next project. I hate this room so much. It just doesn't make sense completely. The carpet is utterly disgusting. Needs to be ripped out. So that is going to be our project within the next few weeks. But yeah, this room, I can't wait to do a complete overhaul and make it just feel so much better in here. I also wanna paint the fireplace, but that's a story for a whole nother day. And the bedroom is clean. Cody and his friends went to go play Top Golf this afternoon, and I volunteered to run over to the trailer store and pick up a hub for our boat trailer. It broke the last time we took it out and haven't fixed it, but since his friends are in town, they wanna do some fishing, of course. So while they're out having fun, I volunteered to go pick this up so that they can quickly replace it this evening and then go fishing the next two days. Got the hub picked up for the boat. And I just so happen to be right across the street from Sam's Club. I have not used my membership in months. So I'm gonna run inside and see if there's anything I need. Back at home and I thought I would start off with a quick Sam's Club haul. I only bought eight items, somehow spent over a hundred dollars. So Cody likes these fishing shirts from Sam's. They're 16 bucks and they're really great for him for work because they're super comfortable. So I got him these in three different colors that he doesn't have. The next thing I got is this variety pack of Jell-O. To be completely honest, I really don't know what drew my eye to this, but I bought it. I am a sucker for anything Christmas flavored. So when I saw these holiday Skinny Pop popcorns, I thought this would be a good little snack when I'm craving something kind of sweet. There's white chocolate peppermint, gingerbread cookie, and snickerdoodle flavored popcorn. My pups love these dog treats that I can only find at Sam's, these nudges. They seem to be a pretty decent for your dog treat. And they're soft and chewy, which I like for the dogs. So I grabbed a pack of these. They are a little bit more expensive for a pack. It's like $24, but this lasts me a good while. And lastly, I got two trays of these twice baked potatoes. Since we have some boys staying with us, we are planning to do some smoked meat tomorrow night and some grilled meat like burgers tonight. But my mom called me while I was shopping and she was like, hey, our entire freezer thawed out. When I get home, I'm gonna do like an inventory of the meat that thawed to see if there's anything we want. So I didn't get anything meat-wise. I just grabbed these that I can throw in the oven as a quick side to go along with whatever we cook for dinner. Okay, y'all, I've gotta show you something really cute that I, I guess I have trained my little bumper chicken. <laughs> I gotta show you this. gosh he's learned to come to me when i clap my hands it's so sweet you don't want to treat little pepperonis Bo, you go first cooper well with that i think i put enough craziness into this vlog so i'm gonna go ahead and end it here i hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so and I will see y'all again real soon with another one. Bye guys.